While doing the math, Diana realized how much the cost of living has risen. The amount of money she allocated for the basic food staples now seems not to be enough. A situation that many fear might worsen next year with a tax reform that has been announced. Prices of food staples will continue to rise next year, affecting us. While the salary increase is minimum, the expenses increase disproportionately, and so therefore it is not equivalent. Both consumers and vendors are concerned that the $15 increase on the monthly minimum wage will not compensate for the customer tax increase that the government is planning even on most basic goods such as eggs. People have already been complaining, first because of the rising dollar and now for the consumption tax. If the minimum wage increases a bit, the prices in basic goods should also be frozen a bit. Within the proposed tax reform, the sales tax is expected to rise by two or three percentage points, a move that for many will basically impact the buying power of the working and middle classes as well as small businesses. For small business people, those who run restaurants or tiny shops, the cost will increase while no portion of the sales tax will be eligible for deduction for any of the small business people. For some analysts, the planned taxing policy is merely a continuation of Colombia's economic model, which critics say benefits big capital at the expense of the well-being of the majority of the society. We are heading to a point in which people are not going to be able to bear any more taxes. Meanwhile, the state gives incredibly high tax incentives to big capital under the assumption that a low taxation of big capital encourages investment. The draft of the new tax reform is ready to be submitted to the Congress when it resumes sessions in March of 2016. Natalia Margarita, Telesur, Bogotá.